What is up to Coast to Coast Stacking? I am one of your co-hosts, Silver Baggins, and I'm joined by, you know him as the wielder of the Yankee Cannon, Mr. Yankee Stacking. Hello. Hey, Silver Baggins, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. How you doing, Yankee? Doing awesome. Yeah, looks like you had fun with uh, International Stacker a little bit earlier today. <laughs> I did. That was a hoot. Fifteen. Yeah, that's sweet. And then also, oh my goodness, my phone's going off. Uh, <laughs> we're we are going an hour later tonight, um, so hopefully people will stay up and hang out. We'll see. Yeah, this is like old times, dude. Remember? Oh, I remember. Yeah, back back. Yeah, back in the day, we used to always start at seven p.m. my time. So, uh, yeah, we're break, breaking it back to the OG coast to coast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we should definitely say hi. Uh, what's up, Stacking Stormtrooper, uh, Alex Coin Roll Hunter, always, Mel's Coin Hunter, um, Mel's Coin Corner, sorry, uh, Coin Hunting Couple, a lot of cool people here. And I'm getting worse as you can't hear me. Uh-oh, Yankee, uh-oh. Uh, We're getting back to OG, OG, coast to coast. <laughs> Was any Is anyone that's in the chat right now, were any of you at our very first ever coast to coast oh, stacking? Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna bring it up, but what's up, slow stacker, stacking it slow, uh Bradley Height, Mike Wolf, Kendall Kid, Silver Fox. Hey, congrats, Silver Fox, on the uh silver in your um your fifty or uh yeah, uh fifty cent halves box. There we go. <laughs> so uh let's see. Slow stacker might have been at the very first one. Uh what's up, lettuce for turtle, lucky coin hunter. How does um, this sound, Baggins? Whoa, dude, you're coming in <laughs> loud and clear. I got to back off now. <laughs> thanks, yeah. for, thanks for letting me know I was messed up there. I appreciate it. I had it set for uh, International Stacker. Now I have to set it for Coast to Coast Stacker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're like, yes, yeah, super loud and clear now. So I think everyone could probably hear you. Let, let, let us know in the chat, thumbs up or thumbs down for Yankee. Much probably better. tell me to shut up. <laughs> too loud, too loud. <laughs> Uh, what up, the independent stacker? Thanks for staying up for us. What up, Appalachian stacking? So, wow. And and I, there, there's a few uh, new names for me, like Lettuce for Turtle. I haven't, I have not met Lettuce for Turtle. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, there's some some familiar names though. That's Def <laughs> definitely we all, we always got the tried and true. You know, Alex <laughs> uh, was he first. Was he for I, the chat? <laughs> he probably was. <laughs> uh, also, what's up, Julian Collects? Welcome to the stream. This is uh, Coast to Coast Stacking, where me and Yankee, we talk about uh, stacking, precious metals, all that fun stuff. And we're going to have a good night, right? Oh, we're going to have an awesome night. I'm really looking forward to this. Very cool. What's up, John Wolf? Um, so, yeah, wel welcome, everyone. Uh, let us know in the chat. Um, we, we we you know back in the OG we always start off with which coast were you on west coast or east coast <laughs> there's bradley again i'm sorry he's on a roll already oh my yeah. gosh bradley oh, height with bradley. the five spot <laughs> thank you so much bradley i'm sorry would would you say thanks oh we like i'm i'm actually I'm honestly always... curious if there's more people on the west coast tonight just cuz we started an hour later oh no stacking stormtroopers east side uh oh <laughs> yeah, East Coast baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. We got four or five. Slow stacker. What's up? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> slow. <laughs> the independent um, stacker, Midwest. You get all the Midwest, right? Of course. I get anything remotely in the middle. So it looks like we're about tied. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lettuce for turtle, West Coast. I I think yeah. I might have just stepped ahead on that one. I'm not sure. What's up, Urban Lifestyle? Hi, Eli. Good to see you, man. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we got a couple good topics tonight. Quebec, we've gone international. Oh, I my see. goodness. <laughs> What's up, Samuel? Welcome to the chat. <laughs> I guess that's probably considered, what, East Coast? I'll let, them, I'll, I'll let you have them. You let me have all the Canadians? I'll let you have all the Canadians, all the Mexicans, all the uh, uh, Europeans, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need them uh, representing the West Coast over here in Oregon. Oh, um, but you know what? The thing is, we get 10 cents for every can we recycle. So you can't can't complain living over here. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. 
That's awesome. Oh yeah, what about the uh, Australians? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Is crispy in the house? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's too late for them. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think New Zealand or Australia or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, their time's way off. But right. uh, yeah, so we should. Uh, should we Any get into topics or what do you want to do? Well, I do want to jump into our first topic, but I want to see. Oh, there's International Stacker. <laughs> What's oh, up, International boy. Stacker? I do want to know: Are there any uh, first timers on Coast to Coast Stacking tonight? Yeah, let us know. Hit a one in the chat if you're a first timer. What's up, J Mart? I've seen you before. Uh, NATV, welcome. Uh, yeah. So, and, and we got International Stacker in the house. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling I know where he's at too. I would say East Coast. Yeah, but but we know that he's truly a West Coasty, always, always. Novice, you're not a first timer. <laughs> oh, here we go. Michael Cabron's in the house. <laughs> yeah, he's not a first timer either. <laughs> it's not a bot. <laughs> oh, uh, my God, who's starting this? Who's the Dolphins lit coins? Oh, oh no. novice. <laughs> Is that Novice's Where's second novice? panel? Oh no, he, oh, he. You haven't heard his stream. No. Of I oh, know the no, whole no, coin licking no, thing. No, I'm not going to do it. No, but he he went off on midgets and dolphins and other things. But we're going to keep this uh, family friendly tonight. Yeah, so. absolutely. No coin licking. <laughs> Yankees a robot. Thanks, slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hey, MK Bars, how you doing? We're doing great tonight. Uh, we're just going to have some fun, talk about some silver and precious metal <laughs> topics, and maybe do a couple giveaways. <laughs> yeah. I hope we do. In fact, I think one of them is going to be a sponsored giveaway. Look at oh. Yeah. So you want to talk about our first half topic? Yes. Yeah, so um, everyone out there, we'd love for you to weigh in as well. Uh, we want to talk about buying at the local coin shop versus buying online. Mm -hmm. That is uh, quite good fodder for discussion, I think, tonight. Um, I hope we'll get some passionate. Um, you know, perspectives on that in the chat. I'm curious what you think, um, Baggins. Uh, I know you've done both, but what do you prefer and why when it comes to buying your precious metals? Yeah, so absolutely. So um, also no worries, Dolphin Lit Coins. It's all good. <laughs> but uh, first I want to say it absolutely depends on what I'm trying to buy. Uh, so what's my goal? Like if I, if I just want to buy generics or eagles, Actually, especially generics, um, anything that I'm going to melt, I always go to my local coin shop because first off, I get good deals because they know me. I mean, they give me killer deals and they actually, well, I go to like four different coin shops, but one of them knows I'm Silver Baggins and they give me really good deals. <laughs> wow. uh, the other ones don't know. They they just know me as some average show that pays cash. But um yeah, so if I'm buying melters, I'll go local because I get better deals. And also, I get it in my hand faster, right? So I, I get them right away. Oh, and thanks, everyone. I know I hit 3,000 subs tonight. Uh, Going to be doing a giveaway uh, probably tomorrow, so stay tuned. But um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so if I'm buying melters, I'll go local. If I want to buy anything specialty, I got to go online because they don't carry any of that here. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So anything to collect is online, um, melters are local, and then eagles are either way, but so far I've been getting the best deals just at my LCS, man, 250 over spot. That's really good. That's awesome. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think there's a lot of benefits to at least uh, establishing a relationship with your LCS. It's not exclusive for me. I have a couple that are within driving distance, close driving distance of where I work. And I really care about having face and name recognition. I want to walk in there and it's like, hey, how you doing, Yankee? You know, and it's like, right. you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you had a chance to see um, my visit to the local uh, coin shop uh, a couple of videos ago, Baggins, where I walked in and I spent time with the guy. I know him by his first name and we had a really good conversation. He told me some some personal stuff too. One thing he's willing to share was that he had lost his wife uh, and, and to a heart attack at, at like age 32 and he was left with four little 
kids. Oh my gosh. And, and just, I was just like enthralled just listening to his life story, you know, and, and I was truly and genuinely interested. It wasn't like, well, I'm going to try to see, you know, make it fake. Like I'm interested. I really was. He's a really nice guy. Um, by the way, thanks, Stacking Stormtrooper. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate the yeah, cheese spotter. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> word. Somebody. <laughs> if you melt a coal, does it become a BU? What, all right. we're gonna Listen, pal, you and I, we're going at it. I've had <laughs> about enough of you, okay? So get ready. It's going to – the gloves are coming off, if you know what I mean. The gloves are always off with you, man. Oh, man, I'm going to get his gloves off. <laughs> Pretty much about a had it, so we're gonna have it out. Um, but 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 I really, you know, it's it's great to have that kind of rapport, if you will, with your LCS um owner. And I just want to shout out um Eli, um Urban Lifestyle, who did oh a, yeah, that video was video, awesome. That video was really good, really good. I highly recommend you sub and check that out on his channel about uh, establishing that rep uh, that that uh, uh you know, relationship relationship, yeah. yeah. And and he had really good tips too, not just with the uh, coin shop, but just with people in general. Just remembering their name, you know, uh, being nice and and actually listening to them when they talk. Those are just great tips. But really, honestly, when you when you go up to the LCS, like one of mine that I go to, um, the guy's name is Dennis, and I always walk in and I go, "Hey, Dennis," and he just gets this smile and he's like, "Hey, man, what do you want today?" You know, and it just yeah. it makes me feel good. They're comfortable, and I get good deals. <laughs> Good deals. That's true. In fact, I when I was there um, during lunch, I, I think I got some really good deals uh, on the. Well, actually, do you mind if I just pop up the cam real quick? Yeah, definitely. And I, I think right? you. This is the one that you said something about Uber delivery. Is that the video you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, Uber delivery. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I saw the video it was good, but I'll, let's yeah. see what you got at the shop. Yeah, I mean, it, it was just uh, you know the Canadians. These were uh, a little milk spotted. Not terrible. Yeah, the spot was um fifteen twenty two at the time, and I got these for seventeen. It's not bad. No, I got that one, and then this uh, this toner right there, the American. Oh, nice toner. So what I, year is that? So I can't clean it, huh? No, don't clean it. What year is that? Oh, <laughs> he's touching it. <laughs> Better believe I am. <laughs> 1991. That's my birth year, man. That's my favorite. Ooh, really? Yeah, that's a cool man. Keep, hold on to that. That's a cool one. So if I sent this to you, you wouldn't melt it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't melt coins. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that was these were all $17 a pop. So that's less than $2 uh, over spot, right? Wow, even for the eagle. Even for the eagle. He gave me that at 17 and it was 15.22. And then um we also got those rounds for uh, sixteen. So, so sixteen dollars. That was really good. That was for international stacker. So I, I'm like, you know, LCS can come through for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, and the thing is too. Sometimes, like when I go in there, I go, "Hey, do you have anything that you're having trouble moving? Like, what's not selling?" And that's how I got those uh, twenty gram uh, bars I got a while back. He's like, "Oh, no one wants these." I'll just give them to you for spot. And I, my jaw dropped. I was like, are you kidding me? Those things are awesome. <laughs> right, right. Now, why would you, uh, you mentioned why you would do online because of not being able to get a hold of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, LCS, what else? What Any other reasons? Uh, well, let me say hi to Bella's dad, a.k.a. Phil, Silver, Phil. Ripple, Silver Ripples, uh, Rico's Hunting Treasure. How are we all doing tonight? Um, yeah, so as far as buying online, Usually I can't really, okay. Except for the spot deals. Like I, I obviously did all the spot deals already, but right. uh, if, you know, if you're new, you got to do those, you know, online yep. for sure. Right. But other than the spot deals and um, buying for like collections or just stuff that you can't find locally. Um, I don't really know why else you would want to buy online if you can get better deals at your local shop and you can support local. Right. So I don't know. Do you? Does anyone else have another opinion on that? Other than if it's snowing to beat the band outside and you can't drive to your LCS and you want it <laughs> brought to your house and you're lazy? No, I can't think of it. <laughs> no, that is a good point. And I guess a, a lot of people out there maybe don't have a right. lot of coin shops near them. Like Mel's Coin Corner said, yeah, it sucks when your closest LCS is an hour away. 
Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> that's brutal. Mm -hmm. I think I have at least nine within an hour of me. So I don't like to buy my constitutional online because you know why, right? You want to pick it. You know it. And, and I'm glad you got that standing liberty, by the way. <laughs> oh, shoo. <laughs> there was no way I was going to pick a Washington and never hear the end of it. But I, other than that, though, there are times where the deals seem a little bit better than the LCS. Sometimes the LCS doesn't drop their premiums. Right. Uh, they really hold tight thinking it's going to turn around. Uh, at least the two guys that I deal with, they're like, normally, they're like, no, it's going to turn around. I'm holding, you know, and online they can flip this stuff so fast. In fact, sometimes they're selling you stuff that they don't even have yet. It's true. Literally getting it in the door and out the door right away. So they can sometimes beat an LCS price sometimes. I, I agree. And there are good sales to be had, you know, whenever you see like the crazy sales, um, Hey, what's up, King and Queen Stacking? Oh, Alex Coinroll Hunter said tax. Is that a factor for anyone where you would rather buy online or at your LCS because you have to pay tax at one of them? I'm kind of curious. I mean, where I live, we don't pay tax on anything. Like we we have literally no sales tax in Oregon, uh, so that's not an issue for me. But I'm I'm really curious. Is do you think he's more saying he has to pay tax locally or online? I'm curious which one it is. Or probably. Both. Oh, it's, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, tax laws, they, they'll they nail you. It doesn't matter uh, if you have tax in your state. Yeah. Uh, that's why I love being in New Hampshire. Either way, I'm not going to pay tax. But Team Glove, what's going on? And what's with the party that Michael was talking about? <laughs> Everyone it, going it, to the party? I it's always a party. party. <laughs> no, I want to make sure there's no party I'm missing out on. <laughs> <laughs> But Maybe we can here right now. <laughs> Nobody leaves. There is no yeah. other party but this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What's up, PDX Brewer, La Plata Peak? Uh, we're just talking about tax and uh, LCS versus online. Uh, apparently, Florida has no state tax. That's awesome. So, Appalachian stacking. So, sales tax here in Tennessee at LCS, but none online. There it is. All right. So, no sales tax. Me, tax on LCS. So, I guess some states even if they have tax, are not taxing online? Because I know that they are uh, in some places. Right. And then, yeah, and I guess it depends on what website, too, because Alex was saying um, some of them do, but Provident doesn't. So I need, I need a mod right now to time out Nova Stacker. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nobody time out. <laughs> and uh, MK Bars is saying that they're ha they're hosting a party in their suite in Vegas at the Vegas <laughs> Coin Show. That's epic. Whoa. I wish I could be there. What's up, Clinton S? How you doing? Welcome. So, yeah, let's see. My local LCS owner is pretty cool and fair here in PA. Nice. The great Bam Gino. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, and then Yankee. Um, I'm, oh, so one other, thing, one other thing about LCS too. Um, I also consider online eBay, and sometimes I'm I'm eBay bucks, dude. eBay bucks. I learned my lesson at the end of last year. Wow, getting silver under spot that was a great deal. So that's the other reason. Yeah, but it, so what's the deal? Is there's a max per year, and also uh, everyone sub Lake House Beach. He wants a little bit of love on his channel. <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, everyone sub everyone. That's how we everybody, all grow. Everybody sub. All right. Everybody I'm, sub everyone. I'm looking for people I haven't subbed right now. Who yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then, well, oh yeah, but with eBay bucks. So I haven't done the uh, whole eBay thing yet. Ooh. And I know you've done it and whatnot, but what's the max per year? Or is it quarter? Dude, I can only dream of maxing out eBay bucks. So you got to be buying tonnage. Uh, well, not tonnage, but probably more than I'm going to spend there because I spend in other, other ways. Right. But I don't, I think it's pretty high. Somebody in the chat clue me in. I'm not sure what the uh, annual max is, but uh, yeah. And yes, you have to uh, use your eBay bucks within a certain period of time as well. But the point is sometimes they give you these instant, you know, 10% off at the end of last year, it was unbelievable. I had to do it. And I got, you know, maybe three or five bucks in eBay bucks that I spent somewhere. But it it was the deal uh, that was that was at that moment ten percent off. 
So, but are you saying that you have to be signed up for eBay bucks to yep. get the 10% off? You have to, you have Baggins. I can't believe I'm telling you this because I was such a long holdout. Well, yeah. for <laughs> a bucks. Somebody tell him that, <laughs> please. You guys were on me for the longest time. I want to hear you get on his case. I just, I just don't know what I would buy. Real, I mean, except for Eagles. If I could get a killer deal on Eagles, that's probably the only thing I would buy on eBay. Silver Ripple says five hundred bucks max per quarter. <laughs> East Coast, yeah. I don't think, yeah. I mean, I, my, my budget's around two hundred, three hundred a month. So maybe, but I buy it in other areas. So I don't know. And eBay bucks just don't come all the time. You just want to be ready for it, dude. You got to sign up. Yeah. And oh my gosh, novice. Oh, word. <laughs> novice. Oh man. You know what? Right on the line there. You know, dude. You, you know what I think we should do? We got 44 people in the chat. Let's do that giveaway, huh? Yes, let's do it. And you actually, know what? the stacking stormtrooper is still sending oh. the love. Yankee is a, a lick baiting bear hander. <laughs> oh, 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 I cannot wait to go at it with you, bud. <laughs> That's funny. EJM right. Demon, no deals on Eagles. Okay, so yeah, there's no point in signing up. What's up, Silver Nuts? Welcome to the chat. So we have a sponsored giveaway, don't we? Yeah, so let's let's give away some some uh some freebies, or at least one freebie here. All right, would you like to see who's sponsoring this giveaway? Who does anyone want to guess who the sponsor is? Well, you're about to find out. There you go. <laughs> I had to do it. Oh my word. Yes, it is the stacking stormtrooper. It pains me to say it. But he is giving away a 1964 JFK. That's a 90 percenter. 90 percenter right there. That is beautiful too. Look how shiny that is. Oh, it is. It's a good one. Uh, does the sticker come with it? Well, here's the deal. Um, this isn't a sticker. <laughs> oh, you he, printed it. I had to because his hadn't come out yet, and, but he just got them. And actually, this is an old rendition. His new one is really lit. <laughs> well, Stacking Stormtrooper, when you get your new stickers, I need one because nope. that Long Live the Empire, that is awesome. <laughs> are, are you Team Stormtrooper? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna oh. weigh in on that. I just like the sticker design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want one too, man. I'll, I'm definitely, I'm running out actually. I'm only down to like five, I think. What stickers left? Yeah. No I'm way. Gonna, yeah. I'm going to have to buy another hundred, man. It, oh. it, it fast. I just ordered some new ones. So I should have 250 new ones coming in in a couple weeks. I get a hundred. He gets 250. Well, everybody, everybody wants yours. No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm almost out of, I, I, I have 500 stickers and I'm running low. So, Oh, is it hashtag team gloves? Is that what it is? LeBron? Oh my goodness. Oh, this, this is, this is going to get out of control. AKA uh, Dovis. Thank you for the other two spot, by the way, uh, stacking yeah. storm and a five spot. Oh my gosh. Look at oh, that. Oh my goodness. I just got my stickers today. I can send to whoever oh. would like one. I All will. Right. Well, Stacking Stormtrooper, put your email in the chat so we can ask you for stickers. Absolutely. And, and let, let's get to the giveaway, but uh, I'll definitely uh, shoot you an email. Not only that, this is, this is worthy, guys. He's got um, 208 subs, and I am going to paste his channel in. Sub him. Yeah. Great, great channel. Yep, look, ev absolutely. Everyone sub stacking stormtrooper. Uh, that's very, very cool. So. All right, so here's the giveaway half a right. uh, half dollar. Um, how are we going to do this? Uh, probably just the same way we always do it, huh? Just pick a number. Yeah, you're right. You, you want to write one down, not the one I told you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, <laughs> that would be funny, right? We get the same number, like, well, no, not that number. All right, I'm going to run right down a number right now. Okay, so it's stacking stormtrooper at Gmail. So no the, but it's the rest of his name there. That's right. And there it is. That's the number. So um I'll throw it in the chat too. So you, your chat. So you yeah, and then it. I can say go with the range. Mm -hmm. So they'll see the yellow and then they know when to start guessing. Silver Ripple says one guess only, right? <laughs> I like I do I do like that one 
guess only I've kind of changed my tune on that. I don't know how you feel. This is hey, West Coast is hosting this, so Baggins decides how are we doing it. Uh, let's just do as many guesses. That's fine. However many you want to do. And what's up, SG Stacker Diary? Also, actually, is that Phasma's helmet or is that a Stormtrooper helmet? SG Stacker Diary. I have to know. Ooh, but uh, we're we're about to say go. And uh, did I already say multiple? Or let's just do one guess, huh? Someone's gonna guess it right away. Well, you're gonna put the range in, right? Are you typing it all in, or do you want me to? Yeah. No, no. I'll say go. So once I say go. You guys, <laughs> CP Dig Silver, don't guess yet. I have to say go. <laughs> and, nobody um, else, and nobody else type go. Uh, so, yeah, I'll say go. You'll see it in yellow. Then you can guess in between the two numbers uh, uh, that I put up. And whoever guessed it first, one guess only. You guys know the drill. It's a Stormtrooper helmet. Thank you, SG Stacking Diary. All the way from Singapore? Whoa! You win the furthest away award right there. That's epic. <laughs> and she put in SD Stacker Diary put go. <laughs> well, I'm I'm a, I'm about to hit go, so I hope everyone's ready to guess a number. And as soon as you see me pop up, you can start guessing, and we'll see who guesses it first. <laughs> and then Yankee will obviously show us the number that he wrote. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> oh, and look how low they oh, guess. I saw it. Oh my gosh, I see it too. I put stop just in case you didn't. Yep. <laughs> Everybody stop. We had an Insta, Insta winner. <laughs> Insta winner. Insta winner. And it is 91. Yep. Lucky coin hunter. Lucky coin hunter. And right after, not right after, but a little bit lower was independent stacker. You were not as fast on the gun, but you did have it right. So, but anyway, uh, lucky coin hunter wins. And, and they win this beautiful 90% Kennedy half dollar. Sponsored by the Stacking Stormtrooper, guys. Thank you so, so much. That was very generous of him to sponsor that. If you're interested in sponsoring a giveaway, we'd love to shout you out. We'd love to uh, help you out. In other words, I have some stuff. I, I know um, Baggins has something. If you don't want to have to do all the mailing, you can just let us know what you'd be interested in. And if we have that in our uh, stack, We'd be glad to do it. Just uh, PayPal us, whatever, and we're good. So that's it. Yep. So, yeah, simple as that. And uh, Lucky Coin Hunter, you can either email me or Yankee. Uh, we'll get you squared away. Probably better to email Yankee, though. You want to put yeah. your email up in the chat, I'm Yankee? I'm doing it right now. Uh, because what I do. I'll do this. I've learned from the best. I've learned from you. <laughs> you <laughs> always got to put your email up in there. <laughs> you did it, man. You taught me how to do that. I watched you. Your giveaway, your last giveaway. You had it. I was like, dang, he knows how to do it. <laughs> well, because people always ask, what's your email? So just put it up the whole time. <laughs> very true. Very true. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, thanks again, Stacking Stormtrooper. Let's move on. Um, how about with a little bit what's in your cart, shall we? Ooh. I was ready to take this off my uh, camera, but can I, I've already showed you a little bit of what's in my car, but did you guys see these? <laughs> Benji's. Oh, is it a full uh, roll or how much? No, I didn't quite get a full roll. I got $8 face. Still, I, almost, I almost said, ah, just finish off the roll, but I didn't have the cash in my hand. And well, I didn't want to, Get Mrs. Yankee upset. So, yeah, they're in really good shape. Nice, Benji's. Those are cool. Uh, and I are, usually don't get them. So, are you starting a new tube or are you working on one? <sighs> Not with Benji's. I, I'm just literally, I saw them and they look cool. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to, walkers to me are beautiful, but they're just too worn. So, I wanted to add some more of these in there. There you well, go. Well, nice pickups. Those are awesome. Yeah. So, well, anyway. let me say, let me say hi to uh, Crystal Ward. Yeah, I'll let you get the screen back up. But let me say hi to Crystal Ward, uh, John Smith. Anyway, around tax on eBay. <laughs> oh, I have <laughs> literally no idea on that. Um, let's see. Alex Coinroll Hunter wants to know how much over spot on the Benjis. And what's up, Karen Jessup, uh, the mailman? How we all doing tonight? Off grid power. What's up? Welcome to the chat. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know, Yankee, are you willing to share how much over spot you paid on those? They were um, $12.10 uh, 
uh, for one dollar face. Not bad. I thought that was pretty good. Could I? I looked at JM. Uh, it was really close. Um, I probably if I had gotten, you know, more, uh, I might have been able to get it cheaper online. But you know what? He was so generous, and plus he gave me that standing liberty for the Mega Gaw for International Stackers Mega Gaw, and he was just ah, it was close enough. Right. Nice. Um, so let's see here. Uh, we got some people. Nothing in the cart for Silver Ripples. Um, uh, ooh, Karen got a 2016 Panda. That's cool, Karen. I, I heard that you went to a, a coin shop. That's very awesome. That is cool. Um, ooh, the mailman bought a roll of Franklin's yesterday. Good for you, dude. Why not? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, and, you know, there, what, what's in your cart first? Oh, my cart? Yeah. Um, so I think people already know, maybe or maybe not, I pre-ordered the um, uh, the new one of the restrikes. I don't know if we talked about that last week, uh, the third one. So I got that on pre-order. Um, so that's not coming for a few more weeks. But uh, other than that, I'm trying to think. Uh, I told you all I picked up the 2019 Kookaburra. I think I probably yep. let it slide. I also picked up the 2019 Panda. So that'll be cool when that comes in. I'll have to do a video on that. That should be fun. Uh, what's up, Kings Coins? How you doing tonight? And uh, let's see. I don't know. I got some random stuff in there, but definitely on the market for more uh, eagles. Right. And obviously generic for melting. I actually got a lot I need to melt. I was going to do it yesterday, but I uh, didn't get around to it. So I might have to do it uh, on Sunday or something like that. But uh, Bill got 18 proof sets today. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of proof sets. I hope those were uh, older years. So you got some silver. Clinton S. I have about $50 in silver roses going up on eBay tomorrow. He's selling. Wow. Um, waiting for silver to hit low 14s. Hmm, Silver Fox. We're going to talk about um, spot. We're going to do a spot check soon. Yeah, that's coming up next. Yeah. Um, I did want to show one last thing. I got this, but this is not for me. Oh my goodness. I know. Seated quarter. I know. I know. I know. This is for someone. And it's uh, an 1877. I know it is, dude. This is this is real. Dude, that year was that's is that a key date or a semi-key? That's crazy, it's, man. I, it is it is gorgeous. But it's not for me. <laughs> Who's it for? Can you tell us? It's for someone on the other side of the pond. That's oh my as far God. as I'll go. Um, when I went to, when I go to the LCS, I do try to give um, uh, certain people that have a hard time getting a hold of this stuff a chance to get it through me. Uh, it's just my way to help, and especially if it's easily mailed, <laughs> if it's not too bulky, and this is easy to get. Dude, you got You got to tell us <laughs> how much, huh? How much? You got to tell us. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I know. No, it really, it really wasn't a lot of money. I, I'll, I'll, I don't want to steal his thunder any more than I already have. How's that? All right, all right. I guarantee you, you will see it on, on a uh, video. Okay. <laughs> well, it is very beautiful. Uh, let's see. Appalachian stackings got maples and eagles. I hope you're getting the newer maples. Ooh. Um, coin roll hunter Alex walking liberty halves silver maple privy dog provident. Oh, so you're getting the maple with the dog privy. Um, I didn't really know anyone was into those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. The stacking kid, five ounce wood poured silver bar. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm sure that is beautiful. Yes, I can imagine. Good job. Kind of gets like the, if I hope it's a second pour that you're getting out of the uh, wood because it gets those really cool sort of like veins on it. Um, what's up, JT coin rings? Let's see. Uh, e oh yeah. E M E J M member. He's doing the a mark chunky bars. Yep. Finish his goal of 50 ounces. That is beautiful. Hey, um, check, check, check this out. What do we got? We have got spot check. Yes. Look, look at what Silver did this week. Look it's on this. sale. It is. <laughs> look, March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 
boom, 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 boom. And I just want you to know that it didn't close uh, below 15, but it did break 15. I was right. Before the end of March, I predicted it would break through 15. Back in January, I thought it might do it. So I think it's going to close below 15 soon enough. I hope it does. Oh, man. So that was like during the day, it just dipped for a sec. It yes, it did. It didn't close, but it, it did go below. That was pretty funny. I think uh Urban Lifestyle went nuts on that one. He was like, Oh, check it out. <laughs> he posted something for it. And I think gold, if we took a quick peek at that too, man, also on sale. It is, it is. I'm thinking uh, my prediction was uh twelve fifty by the end of March. Ah man, it has a shot. Look at that. Is, I don't know. It's not really dropping, and the ratio keeps widening, man. It does. It's like it was over 85 today. Yeah, do I think I even had that, but that was uh that was interesting too. Um we'll see what happens. But if silver drops more and gold holds, that ratio is gonna it if we hit like 87, 88, we could hit some all-time highs. So right there. Oh, 85, see? 85. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. <laughs> that is, right? I think I can actually uh I mean just just in the last, yeah, you can see it in the last um nine years. Yeah, look at that. It's just been a steady climb. Yep. Hmm. Silver keeps going down and gold is basically holding, so right, right. All right. Well, that's good for us that are picking up right now. It's not a good time to sell. <laughs> no, it's never a good time to sell. I know, stack and hold forever. Hold on for silver uh, prices, hold on for dear life. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm holding on for dear life. <laughs> I did want to say uh, Alex got the uh, the privies were on sale, so he got those. Okay. Uh, Independent Stacker got a 2016 colored maple, which I think that's maybe a good strategy because you don't care if it milk spot because it's cover colored. <laughs> covered. You're right. Yeah. I loved your Instagram post. Bag oh, oh, on those uh, oh, uh, milk milky. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I don't know if anyone out there, if some of you follow me on Instagram or not, but I posted some really uh, milk spotted maples. I, I'm gonna do a, a video on those probably uh, next week or something. So, and that's not um, shameless at all. Uh, independent stacker. I have no problem with people, and I know Baggins doesn't either. Shouting out stuff to you doing. I start every video with spots and ratio. Awesome. That's great. Very cool. And have a good night, Karen. Karen's gone. Oh, see you, Karen. Have a good oh, and uh, Silver Turtle, make it. Hey, Silver Turtle 65, did you find any silver? I, I kind of mm -hmm. popped in your stream for a second, uh, but yeah, I was lurking. Doing a roll hunt, right? Yeah, it looked like you're going through a, a grip load of, uh, of half dollars. And hey, Matt from Silver Fortune, welcome. Good so. to see you. Awesome. And we're just finishing up spot check, but I know we have another topic we want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. We want to talk about, and this one, before I say it, this one is really interesting to the point in which Baggins, I might put you on the spot. Yeah, we could, we could bring someone on. Are you sure? sure? If somebody has a good story around this topic, put your email in the chat and Baggins will send you a link. We'd like to actually have you join us for just a few minutes and tell us your story about fakes. Fake yep. silver, fake gold. Absolutely. So. Uh, hey, thanks for stopping in, Coinman5000. Appreciate oh. it. But yeah, if, if anyone out there wants to join us on Coast to Coast uh, and you have a good story about fakes, buying a fake, or someone you right. know that bought a fake, totally got ripped off, or, or you, you spotted a fake, or whatever it is, uh, Silver Rhino is shooting up me his email so i'll shoot you an invite here rhino and i don't know how many people we want to have on but just at one least... at a time one at a time silver rhino gets it yeah <laughs> i don't know if we're gonna get to novice <laughs> novice oh. <laughs> so i want to show you a couple actually maybe a few while while we wait for silver rhino and that look like a beautiful uh american silver eagle huh proof in fact <laughs> huh? it looks huh? too good to be yeah. true i think i think honestly they would not mind if i touch this one <laughs> it's a fake and i use my uh rare earth metal to, as one way to actually easily tell these cheapo fakes right right and there's other ways too i mean the size of the lettering the way it flips sometimes this is a medallion flip come on get that right oh my gosh they didn't even get that right seriously 
Seriously. Yes, they didn't even get that right back. That's hilarious. That's such an <laughs> obvious <laughs> fake. <laughs> now, this one, this one I could tell just by picking it up. It was so light. If I had my, my, uh, I won't bring it out, but if you weigh it, it's ridiculously light. So it's a piece. And the flip here, while it may be correct, it's not lined up right. So if you flip it perfectly straight over, the eagle goes off to the side. It's, it's just weird how it yeah. works. And of course, the magnet. Oh, well then, yeah, obviously it's fake. <laughs> and this. This looked like an American gold eagle. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so the only problem is it's huge. Right. I know, I know what a gold eagle looks like in terms of size. This is it weighs an ounce, but it's because it's so big and wide and all. Well, that. it also should weigh uh, more than an ounce, right? Very true. Thank you. Good point. It does weigh more than an ounce to counteract the or, or compensate for the uh, it being. Um, Help me with with the copper in there. It's ninety two yeah, percent or 92. something. Ninety two point five nine. Yeah, ninety two five or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's. Oh. I don't know if it's the same as sterling. That'd be funny. Sterling oh, gold. <laughs> no, somebody help me in the chat. I just had. A I think spot. it's ninety two percent or something like that. Um, yeah. stacking stormtrooper. Have a good night. I'll shoot you an email for sure. Oh, and a lot. and do we have Rhino in the house? Uh, I did send him an email invite. I don't know if he's trying to get set up on his computer or whatnot. If but, somebody uh, else is ready to go, you can throw it out to that person as well. I'd love to hear if there's a story about somebody getting duped by a fake or spotting a fake. That would be awesome. Maybe we should. Uh, oh, yeah. 22 carat is what uh, Silver Fortune is saying. And the stacking kid. Thank you, Silver Fortune. <laughs> so maybe I will invite Novice if he actually has a story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can always boot him off. Yeah, we can. <laughs> No, I'd love to have him on. He's great. Um, I When I was buying my silver at the dealer, he took my cash and he pulled out his cash machine and put it in and zipped it all the way through a couple times. And he showed me how it would it would check for counterfeits because he, he said, you know, you got you can't be too careful. People bring in fake. Oh, cash. fake twenty dollar bills. Yeah, exactly. Silver oh, Rhino is saying he hasn't got the uh, uh, invite. I sent it to the email you sent to us. Oh, and novice is uh, getting a little novice almost with the uh, face reveal there. Almost. <laughs> I didn't know you. I didn't know you had a face reveal. <laughs> you, you can. Back in, me up, and you're worried about you. <laughs> Oh, that's man. funny wow. yeah oh, that's awesome. the joke's on you novice you gotta hit yeah, the little exactly. button at the top to turn your camera off buddy <laughs> oh that is hilarious we, we i'm trying to find my logo you're the first you're the you're the first one we've opened it up to and i'm so glad hey, hey buddy just just turn your camera off and it'll pop your logo up but um i i'll try again rhino i'm not sure what happened with the first one. Oh, oh that killed me let me zoom oh man <laughs> i don't care I can't turn it off, baggage. Well, tell hey, us your story. Face reveal. What are we? Let's just do a face reveal. Go ahead. Go there's, ahead. Here's your logo. There's your logo. <laughs> <laughs> that was killing me, man. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right, right focus. Oh, focus. Oh. This is about. Oh, dude, you kill me. Boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, novice. What's your story on the fake? We need the story. All right. So when I first started, um, I started getting into pandas. Mm -hmm. Um, I used to see them everywhere when I first started stacking. And I was like, I love that coin. I have to have that coin. Ooh. And um, I go to the LCS. I pick up a couple. And um, two of them were slapped. And they were MS-70s. So I was kind of excited. I just grabbed them, threw them in the car. When I got home, I took a look at them. And they were, there was a, it was a 2009. And it was completely milk. And I thought it was um I thought it was fake, like in the beginning. I didn't even know what uh -oh. the spot was. Right. And, uh -huh. and then I was thinking if it's if it's an MS70, you know, at the time that it was slabbed, obviously it didn't have that kind of, you know, the the milking on it. Right. So does that yeah. eliminate the value of the coin after it does if it does get milked? Yeah, yeah. So novice, let me touch on that. So yeah, basically what happened was in 2009, before they slabbed it, it was a perfect coin, right? 
and they slabbed it and it had no milk spots and then over time it developed them and now I mean, it still has the MS-70 grade because it doesn't have scratch or anything, but it's all milky, man. No one, no one's going to want that for the price. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it has no eye appeal. Like, it, and it was on the, nope. like, you know, it was on the rim, like, uh, mostly. Yep. Right. So I, was, I just, re I ended up kind of returning it and, and, and trading it for something else, obviously. But but that was it. That was, that was my first thought, like, uh, my first experience first thought, with yeah. you know, thinking something was fake, you know? You were faked by thinking it was a fake. Uh, dude, I'll <laughs> tell you, I'll tell you, Milk Spot <laughs> have no, no regard for slabs. Milk Spot. I'll, I'll behave, Yankee. No, you're not. Shut up. <laughs> it, if it's slab, it's going to milk spot every time. That's why I don't do slabs, man. It just freaks me out, you know? I'm worried well, I'm I mean, going to I just thought that anything that was slabbed, you know, it was kept and, like it was airtight. Oh, like the point would never, it you know, matter. it would just remain milk, in that milking, state. Uh, milking happens with, with in, in a vacuum, dude. You can stick yep. it in a vacuum. <laughs> oh, All yeah. right. Well, that's my story, guys. Let's get back to it. Thanks, All man. Right. Thank, thanks for coming by, novice. Bye, Thanks bro. for setting me up, Baggins. You're welcome. Bye, bye. Right. You are. <laughs> okay, I ejected him. <laughs> that and, that's perfect. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's never happened before. <laughs> but uh, uh, real quick, I got a, Alex Cornwell Hunter got some fake Barber dimes on eBay, um, mm -hmm. and I sent one with a letter to the Secret Service, and they sent him a challenge coin, oh. a challenge token for Boston Field Office. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Great. I'm sorry, I haven't even looked at the chat. I've been laughing. I know. I, I was stuck on that one, but I got to scroll down and see what people oh, are saying. Uh, let's see. Constitutional Chinese, most counterfeit. Yeah, it, it, yep, you know, it that's is. the thing is it could have been counterfeit as well, but I, I don't think it is. It probably just is spotted. So, <laughs> oh, so, that's funny. Oh, this is great. Uh, Rhino, I, I sent you another invite. Not sure what happened. Uh, fake, but, fake silver town bars are prevalent off eBay. Okay. Yeah. Bars. I, I did recently pick up a couple couple Silvertown bars to melt um because I got them for basically spot, but uh they're definitely real. <laughs> I I triple checked them, so. Coin hunting couple, that's a great question, believe me. I'm watching my uh Canadian Maple Leafs dated 2018 uh very very carefully because of the mint shield they added. Uh, I think the ones you were had all milked up on Instagram baggins were 2017. 2017s, yeah. And I'm definitely gonna do a. Uh, oh, thanks, Mike Wolf. I'm happy to be back. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a uh, video on them and the difference and everything um, probably this week. But yeah, so the 2018 they put the mint shield on and they work great for me. None of my 2018 maples are milk spotted in the slightest. So I think it works so far, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> everybody's putting one come on more ones we want ones but what are the ones for no nothing okay good <laughs> i'm just kidding just a fake just a face reveal at three thousand subs for you oh yeah i'm not doing it sorry <laughs> no i don't blame you man <laughs> uh okay well anything else on fakes we wanted to cover it's uh 12 minutes to go well one thing we could talk about is um maybe how to avoid fakes Mm -hmm. so uh you know international stacker has the ultimate way to avoid them <laughs> a very expensive way if you want to spend the coin on that that was a uh a really the tester is that what you're talking about yeah yeah his uh, uh silver and gold tester machine i don't know what it, equinox maybe is that or no is yeah. that a something right 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 um, so there's that, and then obviously you got the magnet slide. You could hit it like you all saw a Yankee just hit one with a magnet. That's clearly a fake. <laughs> but sometimes they're sort of more subtle than that. You got to be careful. Well, yeah, a rare earth magnet, obviously. Um, so that that's a good tester, but also just weigh it. See how much it weighs. Yeah, can I just say, if you don't have one of these, it, they're, they're not that expensive. Just get one, really. You need to be able to weigh your coins sometimes and, and verify that they're good. Yeah, probably 15 bucks on Amazon. Yes. Oh, uh, Appalachian Stacking says Sigma. Thank you. Oh, there it is. I was thinking uh, probably a metal detector. Isn't there an Equinox metal detector? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either, Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you're more of a metal detector than me, Yankee. I know. I don't know that name. <laughs> Whites and, um, the Garrett are the only ones that I really know. So, yeah, Silver Rhino. Sorry, I tried you three times. 
Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but bummer. Anyway, all right. So, uh, did we have any last questions for uh, Baggins and I before we get into another giveaway? I think we should do a little giveaway action, shouldn't we? Yeah, if you have any questions, put three questions in it in there, and the chat will try to catch it as we set up for this. So, so yeah, yeah, so we're we always do a giveaway on Coast to Coast just for funsies. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight is going to be uh, I'm giving away a night. Well, me and Yankee collectively, but it's coming from my address. So whoever <laughs> wins it will see my PO box. But it's a, a 1969 Kennedy half dollar. It looks really great, and I love the 69s. You know, they're just they're the um, they look cool. They look cool. It's right in the middle of the 40 percenters. So why not? <laughs> yeah, that's great. So how are we going to do this one? Oh, man, we got a lot of questions in here, too. I'll try to capture them. Yeah, we'll have to do uh, pick a number. Uh, so, Yankee, if you want to bring up your camera and write down that number. And let me see if I can uh, hit some of these questions while we're doing that. Uh, Are there any new errors listed for the 2019 penny? I haven't seen any on eBay, Mike. Wolf, I don't know if that's what you're asking about. Um, let's see. John Smith, older government uh, gold bullion versus new government gold bullion that could be a good video topic probably pre-33 versus the uh gold eagles um i'm not sure if you're talking about fakes or just you want to know what's better and let's see how much over an ounce can be without red flags it depends on how big um if it's a 10 ounce bar then probably not more than half an ounce over i think the most i've ever seen was a little little under half an ounce over and it was still legit because they have to grind down the edges on the 10 ounces to get them to the right weight. So they probably got lazy, but if it's more than half an ounce, it's probably fake. Mm -hmm. uh, does Yankee even own gloves? <laughs> Yankee. What? He does. He wore them earlier today. Oh my word. Oh, you, you wore them on your stream with international stacker. Those are my winter gloves, <laughs> but they are gloves. Do you want to see my gloves? I kind of want to see him. Uh, Ronnie P, no, you can't have the key. <laughs> it is beautiful, though. Uh, let's see. How long before Baggins gets 100 ounce? La Plata Peak, uh, my furnace only goes up to a kilo. So, unfortunately, I need to get another furnace so I could pour a 100 ouncer. Uh, let's see. Who's responsible for my setup? <laughs> you are, Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's your own fault, novice. You shouldn't know. Yeah, don't be blaming us. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's a donate for Noah's haircut? <laughs> <laughs> We're having too much fun tonight. <laughs> uh, oh, stop. <laughs> oh. So let's let's do the giveaway, huh? Yeah, let's do the giveaway right away. <laughs> I didn't even see. Did you, right. did you already write down a number on there? It's right there, man. Okay. I, even, I even threw my gloves out. <laughs> <laughs> So he's got uh, the he's got the white gloves. Oh uh, shut up, John. Come on, man. <laughs> you want me to put them on? I'll put them on. I wish I won't touch anything with them. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's do the giveaway. So you guys all know how we do the giveaway. Uh <laughs> you're gonna see silver baggins come up in the chat in yellow. I'm gonna say go and I'm gonna put two numbers. Um, you gotta pick a number between the two numbers that is written on that little piece of paper there. First one to write the correct number wins. Uh, one guess only, please. It'll be a, a tight range of numbers again, so for sure someone will guess it. But and make, uh, sure, and make sure you're on uh, live chat, except Nova, so he can be top chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. As soon as you see go, go ahead and start guessing. And uh, whoever guesses first will win the 40% uh, uh, Kennedy half. So there it is in the chat. Oh, we're having too much fun tonight, we Yankee. It's too much fun. <laughs> uh, someone will guess it for sure, though. We got 43 people here, so if you right. see other people start guessing, don't guess. Oh, oh, already. And that's funny. I can just, uh, <laughs> I can almost just drive it to him. You show him the number, Yankee. Oh, no way. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> number two. Uh, I saw PDX Brewer. Yes. Yeah. Silver Nuts, you were so close. Maybe you weren't live, Silver Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. 
you yep. put you put, you put stop in right <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, P- pdx brewer uh congratulations and that will be um your email address yeah i'll put it in the chat here awesome uh, gmail and i don't know if there's any questions before we wrap up but we got it five minutes left yeah five minutes any final questions <laughs> yeah pdx brewer um uh, shoot me an email let's see silver turtle 65 close but no cigar yeah i think yankee should give away his gloves since he never uses them <laughs> you could give them to a homeless guy yankee he might appreciate him alex you obviously haven't watched all my videos because in the, several of them i have used gloves yeah i know <laughs> i like the new shave novice um <laughs> On a legit, on a real question here though, John Smith with the drop in spot, would you go ham on silver or gold? Oh my gosh, it, to me it's not even a question, John. One hundred percent silver with the ratio widening more and more and more. Uh, silver's just got more and more potential, really. So uh, absolutely, dude, dude. I'm I'm not going to argue with you, even though I think the ratio is overblown. I would absolutely back the truck truck up on silver. Silver, yep. silver, silver. We're in the same boat there. Get in the channel bar. When's Yankee? Get me the uh, channel bar. Appalachian <laughs> stack and says, Yankee, why? I don't know what I No one's going to want a channel bar from me. Put Yankee, Hey, put one in the I, chat if you want a Yankee oh, channel no. bar. If you want a Yankee channel bar, put one in the chat. Um, I would definitely buy one. But John, uh, Okay, real question. John Wolf, uh, fours in ancient coins can be valuable but not common i don't get that why am i not getting fours for because it's spelled weird for s <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe john wolf is uh uh talking about he sent he recently sent me a, a ancient coin mm-hmm. um in and i opened it on my last epic friend mail unboxing someone was saying it was from macedonia um i think it's probably roman that's what john thought and so- uh Silver Ripples wants to know if either of us coin roll hunt half dollars. Uh, negative. I do uh, pennies only <laughs> and nickels sometimes. And Stacking Kid, dude, I signed. I signed. You can't put a you can't put a question like that in there after after signing what I signed, man. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Video's dropping soon on that. Um, let's see what else do we got? A bunch of look at all the ones, Yankee. They all want your channel bar. And then SJ, what's up, SJ? We're actually just wrapping up. We got three minutes left on the stream. Lucky Coin Hunter only wants one if it's free. Um, Alex wants to know: Do we keep track of your cost for silver or gold? Great question. Do you know your cost average, Yankee? No. Yeah, I've got no idea. No, I have a rough estimate, but it's not that important to me at this point. It's just so cheap. I just want to keep buying and buying and buying. Yeah, if it's under 20 bucks, who cares, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. In the teens, it's a psychological uh, uh, barrier there. Once it hits 20, things start to change uh, in people's minds. Uh, although, can I just say that when I was talking to International Stacker tonight, he says he's been in this for a while. He says he cannot believe how many new um, channels have joined, stackers have started. He's amazed. This is this community has really exploded in his view. Yeah, um, I think I think it is blowing up even just in the last year, like you're saying. Yep. Uh, do you predict 14 spot? No. Uh, well, under 15. Somewhere in the 14th was my prediction on January 4th. I really think that recession is also going to hit this year. And I don't, I think this is our buying opportunity, but I could be completely out of my mind. So don't listen to me. Yep. We'll see. Never take uh, financial advice from a YouTuber. Um, oh. Mike Wolf wants the Yankee stacking sticker. I think he has five left, Mike. Um, yeah, I don't have much. But, uh, and I think you yeah, me an email. I'm pretty sure Mike just ran out of his stickers. So, uh, but that's cool, though, you know, doing the, all the sticker trades. I, I need to do another I video know. on that. I know. I know. You know what I need to do is I have uh, I need a I have a, uh, a strip that I'm going to be putting all the stickers on right across. Not a board, but one that runs right across the entire wall so I can just pan across. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 
Well, I think we're about to sign off. Uh, you got any videos or anything coming up, Yankee? Do I have videos? You got oh, anything? Yeah. You got anything going on tomorrow? <sighs> yeah, I do. I have another video that's going to be coming. Is that the blinking? Uh, no, no. Uh, maybe a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I hope no one has epilepsy. <laughs> what in trying. the world was that? <laughs> I think that's a sign that we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. Uh, uh, thanks for showing up, everyone. We appreciate y'all. <laughs> oh, and fracking and stacking. Hey, how are you doing? Hey. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're just taking off. We're wrapping up. We're trying to keep it at an hour, especially because we started late tonight. So. <laughs> Yeah, it was a late one, but it was fun. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you all for joining, and I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. Yep, have a great night, everyone. Silver Baggins, out. <laughs>